In this tutorial, we show you how to grow objects like pipes, hairs, or any other cylinder-based object um, like this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make hair, grass, or um, pipes stylistically grow um, quickly. I'm going to delete the default cube, press numpad 1, press in. I'm just going to turn on my screen recording so you guys can see what I'm pressing. And there we have it. Okay, now we're going to press Shift A, curve, and we're going to make use of a path. We're going to rotate this on the, is it the Y axis, 90 degrees. G to grab it on the Z axis too. Tab to go into edit mode. And once you're in edit mode, we can create this shape. So all we do is press G and we just move these pieces around to create our unique piece. And you can also wrap this around an object, you know, it just takes a bit more time. The same principles apply. And this could be a pipe, this could be a grass piece, this could be, the same principle could be a hair. Right, now that we've got that, we can press, uh, if you're happy with your random shape, you can press object, and this is the random shape we have, which could be a pipe, hair, or grass. Shift A, and now we're gonna make use of curves, circle. Now select your Bezier curve. Let's create a new collection. We're going to call this, uh, I'm just going to call all our curves going here. Like all our core bits, we're going to the curves box. And we're going to select our Bezier curve, uh, nubs, nubs path. And we're going to object data properties. We're going to go to geometry. We're going to go to objects. And we're going to select our Bezier circle. And then we're going to select our Bezier circle. And we're going to press S and scale this to any size you like. And this would be great for pipes that have the same size. Or, uh, so you could use it at a fixed size, or you could press, select your nubs path, select tab, go into edit mode, and you can select each individual point. But before we move on, let's fill in the caps so that uh, it's covered. And with each, any single point selected, you can press Alt S and you can make this thicker or thinner. So if it was here, the bottom of the hair would probably be pretty thin and the top would be a lot thicker. Sorry, uh, I'm gonna press Alt-S. Alt this would probably be go up like this, most likely, if it's a ponytail. Press G, Alt-S, 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 and you can kind of just move these around so there's no clumping. Alt S. Alt S. Maybe make that thinner. And there you go, we've got a unique shape. Now this could be a stylistic pipe, a hair strand, random symbol, or you know it could even be grass. And the way we would make this procedurally grow is we would key the factor of the start. So if we go to keyframe one, we make this one and we press I, change it to keyframe 100, and then we press I, when we watch this, well, we have to be in object mode to view this, sorry. One sec. Ah, oh, the keyframes never stuck. That's interesting, let's zoom out. So, let's try that again. So keyframe one, we wanna press I. Keyframe 100. We want to make this zero and then press I. And when we go back to keyframe one, we can watch this grow. And that's how you grow hair particle systems, grass or um, pipes. Um, and once you're done adding textures to material, you'll get a result the exact same as this. Hope you enjoyed this material. Please give a thumbs up. Please share this. Please like this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Bye.